Hey, welcome back to my channel, Duct Tape Mechanic, and to another episode of my series Free on Facebook, a series of videos in which I find things for free and I repair them, reuse them, or repurpose them in another way. In this video, I got this Kenmore 800 series washing machine that's uh, leaving clothes wet even at the end of the spin cycle. So, if this video helps you repair your washing machine, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more DIY and tinkering videos. All right, so here we have a Kenmore 800 series washing machine. And as you could tell, it's in really nice condition. And uh, this is a direct drive type of washing machine. And uh, these type of machines are super heavy duty and super reliable. On top of that, the parts are readily available and cheap. So I really enjoy working on the machines and I really recommend them to anybody who's looking for a used washer. This particular direct drive machine is one of the the latest models they ever made I and mean, they're no longer manufactured but uh, this machine here is uh, leaving the clothes wet at the end of the cycle and uh, basically it's also adding water while it's agitating and it shouldn't be doing that right as soon as you hit the hit the pull right here to start a load it begins to add water and agitate at the same time then at the end of the cy cycle it spins but the clothes are still wet and the reasoning behind that is that it adds adding water at the end then stopping so basically this is an issue with the load sensor switch and i'll be showing you how to replace that in this video all right so the first thing we'll be doing is removing the knob for the fabric softener there it goes then we'll be using a putty knife to open this top panel right here all you have to do is stick the knife down here and there's a clip in there and just kind of pull it towards yourself and it should pop up that's one side and we'll do the same thing for the other side there we go all right so with the top kind of popped open we can Pull it back like this and uh, I'll show you which one the load sensor switch is it's this right here so uh, if you have this machine and it's leaving the clothes wet at the end of the cycle I highly recommend replacing this because this is a good machine to replace it it's simple all we're going to be doing is unhooking the pressure hose and the two wire connectors to it so we do that next That's the pressure hose, and that's one of the wire connectors, and the other one. Okay, so once we got the two connectors, one, two, and the pressure hose out of the way, we're just going to be removing the switch. To do that, we're just going to pull this tab back slightly, and then just turn it clockwise, and it should come right out. Just like so. All right, so here is the new switch. I believe it's actually just refurbished, but I got it off Amazon and I can link it in the description of this video. So to install it, we're going to be installing it at this angle with the tab up and we'll be rotating it clockwise. And you should, once you do it right, so we got it there and you should hear the tab click. There we go. So that's installed correctly and we'll just put the electrical connectors back on okay clicked in there and we're gonna click that one there and go ahead and install the pressure hose and that's that and uh, one thing I forgot to mention is when you install the pressure hose it's always it's never a bad idea to clip off like this much from the end of it make sure that that connection is nice and tight because it could be that uh, since if it was on this old switch for a while that it could be a little bit worn out so that'll prevent the water from overflowing your, your washing washing machine anyways so it's just gonna snap this back into place
So that's how you replace a load sensor switch on a Kenmore 800 series washing machine. So basically that switch is faulty. That's why it thinks that it needs to add water at the end of the spin cycle. So that's why your clothes are remaining wet. This should resolve that issue. So if it does, make sure you hit the thumbs up sign. All right, so I've got the, my washer hooked up to my little test station over here and I've bypassed the lid switch. And I've taken off the cover, obviously. Um, it's all the way over here. But uh, one of the other problems of having a bad load sensing switch is that uh, before it was uh, filling the tub and agitating at the same time. And it's not really supposed to do that. So that's one thing that's, a re that's reassuring that it's no longer doing that. And uh, so the second thing, obviously, the main thing that most of the audience will pick up on is that the clothes will be wet if the load sensing sensor is bad so we'll come back when this thing is over here and we'll see how drenched the clothes are and if it's working okay then we know and if the clothes aren't wet then we know that our load sensing switch was the issue and the problem has been solved if they're still wet then it's something else well here it is filled with water and it's supposed to agitate after it's unfilling and uh, the next clip will show you what a defective load sensing switch does in terms of the filling and agitation stage. So we've reached the end of the cycle right here and I've already went ahead and grabbed some of the clothing that's in here and it is no longer drenched with water. Um, previously I was actually observing this when the sen the sensor switch was bad, the load sensor switch was bad. Um, it would actually spin, and after it got done spinning, it would just blast all the clothes in here with water again. So when they would come out, just come out absolutely drenched. But this is actually as wet as you expect it to be after being washed. It's not dripping with water or anything like that. So that effectively solves this issue.